Hey everybody, how's it going? Jackie55 here. I'm gonna show you guys the, the guns, the perks, and the score streaks for this in this video. Let's start off with the guns and the perks. All right, uh, guys, you'll see the guns is a Man of War with the ARK7. I don't use the ARK7 and the Man of War and the uh, M8A7. Reason for that is because you see in the top right you have seven unlock tokens, or you don't, you're not gonna have a whole lot of unlock tokens to unlock everything because let's just see one two three four five six seven that's like seven unlock tokens for the rest of this stuff and then you got more over here and you can't get any more unless you level up which I already hit the max level so it's like no point so I only use the man of war and ARK 7 now between those two guns I like the man of war better because like a I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like I got more damage out, out of that, but the firing rate is slow for this game, for this gun. And ARK7, that's just like a, the first newish weapon you get, so it's it's just like uh eh. something to help you get by. But I don't think anybody really uses that. People that people really use is the M8A7. It's a four four birds four round burst gun. So think of it as your typical. So it's, I think it's Type 95 from Modern Warfare 2, I believe, or Modern Warfare 3, I forgot. It's a typical, um, two, like, burst gun that kills people within two hits if you stay locked on target and stuff. M moving on to the submachine guns, you got the Cuda, the, the Weevil, the Razorback, and the Vesper. I haven't used any of these two, any guns to use the Weevil because of the firing rate, but it seems like you don't really get that much damage at all with this. So, my favorite weapon that I use the most in this you can see at level max is the CUDA. I really do like that. You get a nice firing rate. The damage is really good. And sometimes I do take a full clip. It's like hold 30 bullets in that. And oops, I already had a clash with that. I messed it up. But let's just go back to over here. Shotguns, you get the KRM. It's like a pump action, one kill. Then you get the hate maker. It's like a assault rifle. I mean, not assault rifle. Fully automatic shotgun. Think of it as a USA gets from Battlefield. Or what is that? Oh, God, there's so many different guns on here. That's like a fully automatic AS, AS12. I think it was a fully automatic shotgun for any game that you really played, and that's really what it is. <clears throat> Get the light machine gun. Uh, the BRM, I have not really used that because I'm not in favor of light machine guns. It feels like it's like too heavy, so I'm not gonna do, not gonna deal with that. Get sniper rifles. Get the Lotus, the bolt action. So to the ribs and above, we get to get that and a dragoon. Let me just go to different different classes to show you guys the attachments for these guns. The assault rifles, you can get the attachments. Get the suppressor, a bullet CPU, the fast mags. I guess you can reload it faster. The f rapid fire, so you can fire much more better. But it's important for a single fire. Extended mags, FMJ, make a weapon. The bullets more powerful. The stock. Handle so you got different optics. Get the red dot. I mean, yeah, recon scope. Sorry. And got wait, why? Why did that even? I don't know. It's like some bug. You get a thermal. You look through that. So it's like all different types of stuff for every single gun. But I guess let's go back to my favorite, the Cuda. Got the attachment on it. The quick draw, and the suppressor. I really do like that because I like to be stealthy. So it's going to so aim down the sights much more faster, and you will notice the difference between aiming down the sights, so that's really good. But because I have the suppressor, the damage is not really that good. I could, I don't know if I do have, I don't know, uh, maybe you add like a dirt attachment or stuff like that. Probably not, but if I would, I would just add a FMJ on it to get the, you know, to get the damage back up, so it would be really good. The fast mags, long barrel, increase the range, rapid fire. I see rapid fire is not really that good for the weapon because you run the bullets a whole, lot, a whole lot faster anyway. And get the optics for this. Get the reflex sight, that's what I mostly use. Get the recon sight, don't really use that. And the Varix 3. Navigation optic, press circle while aiming down the sight to switch between zoom levels. So, Think of it as a sniper rifle, you can zoom in from a distance and zoom in much more further, stuff like that. Alright, um, it's not going to go to the secondary, get the pistols, and I think this, 
uh, which one of those pistols? Stemmy auto with the strongest damage in class. It's like you could take somebody out within just like spray it, hit it twice, blah blah. Yeah, it's like a worst crappy ass gun um, gun sounds I ever made in my life. Is you can just kill somebody really fast with that. Then you got the pistol, the three round burst. Actually, you know, that's the pistol with you kill people really fast. And then you got this, it's like a single fire. So, you know, people mostly go with the AR, R, A, R, K, 5. It's like the strongest pistol in the class. When I say the strongest pistol, I mean like, you shoot really fast and just kill somebody instantly. I die by a lot, die by that a lot, so I know. Got the Black Cell and the XM-53. Of course, you know, the, the first rocket, first launcher is you can lock onto anything or just randomly shoot it. Then you got the black cell, the vehicle lock. You can lock onto the vehicles. You do that much damage. Then you get the special was the combat light, combat knife. You know, uh, let me see. Did I really have anything? I don't think you do anything once you have it as a knife. Just go on just to make sure. I should have to waste a token for that. I'm not gonna do that. But if you don't have a secondary like you see right here, you don't have to worry about that because then you can use your fist. Yeah, you can use your fist. I never really punch anyone. Maybe I just try to do that to show it on Facebook, see what it looks like. But the knifing on this game, you don't really you don't really use a knife. As you can see here, um, let me just go down. Okay, you use your paint job, which you can't really customize anything with that. Uh, yes, right there the the right the quick draw. Especially you hit them with that. That's basically all you do is that side right there. I forgot I like a specific name for that. I kind of forget. Not that good. Not that um, good with guns. But it's some you hit them with that part of the rifle or the butt part. Butt part. I haven't really focused too much on that. But you hit them with that and it doesn't really kill them that fast. So it's like you damage one of them or sometimes depending on how fast you run or the damage they already took in, it will kill them within one hit. So you got that. Um, you guys saw it before. You do the paint jobs. Um, oh yeah, you can't. I probably have to do that next time. You, you customize your gun everywhere, but you can't really change. You can't really do anything with it. It just won't save. All right, so moving on to the lethals. You got the frag. You got the simtex. Got the strip mine. So think of it as claymores. Or let me see. Uh, that four ring, the four bomb thing from um. Maybe Ghost, Call of Duty Ghost, something like that. It launches in the air, th same thing. And the Thermite, which I don't, can't really get. With the Tacticals, you get the Concussion, Flashbang, EMP, and the Black Hat. Black Hat, of course, you can hack, the, hack your enemy's equipment through the fire, through the, through the wall and stuff, do all that, so it's really good. Uh, really these annoying things, the Concussion, really good, Flashbang, got that. And now, the perks. I was saying before in the previous video that Ghosts and blind eyes is the same perk class, so that's going to be really annoying to use to balance it out. Get afterburners, your thrusters have faster recharge rate, so when you jump and stuff, it gets recharged much faster after you use it. Six cents, I haven't really did that. It's probably, it says the displays a mini map indicated with the direction of nearby enemies, so it's like easier to take, easier to detect enemies. Maybe I should use that. You get the blind eye, of course. Overclock get your abilities with the bow. I showed I showed you guys that, and other specialists, other um abilities for your each specialist. Flight jacket less damage, of course, and ghost you can't really see. So I have one of the wild cards here. You got um perk greed one. Did you use the overkill? Get your primary gunfire unlocked one additional attachment slot for your primary. Yeah, you get a, you do get another attachment. You got uh. Perk 1, Perk 2, Perk 3, as usual. Take a second attachment for your second we weapon. Take a tactical grenade in place of your lethal grenade. So it's like you throw like three flashbangs. Danger close, take a second lethal. You know, that kind of good stuff. Maybe it has some more wild cards in there. Remember, the wild cards take up one of your 10 slots that you see in the top right. So now move on to the Perk 2. You have your fast hands, your Andy up, your hardwire. The tracker, your cold blood, and scavenger is like 44. Fast hands, of course, you reload. Oh, you actually twist this around. That's awesome. You just aim faster and reload. 
yeah, we sense the fuse when throwing back grenades, so that's really good. So if you pick up a grenade, you have fast hands, you can just pick up the grenade and just throw it back and be all good. Um, any up, of course, think of it as hard line. Save, save you points to try to get your next score streak. Hardwired, immune to counter UAVs, power core, EMP, smoke grenades, will not trigger any proximity. Base lethals or technicians reduce your or tacticals reduce your additional imprint against enemy tracker and six sense perks. Get the tracker, see additional imprint of your enemy footsteps. Cold blooded, not targeted by ground based AI score streaks, immune to thermal optics. So, yeah, yeah. Get the hard wire, get the cold blooded mixed in with that, and you got scavenger mixed in with this. So it's really hard to balance out all the perks you really need with, with 10 slots. Now, moving on to perk 3, get gun hole, blast suppressor, awareness, and engineer. Gun hole, you aim, you can hip fire your weapon, deploy equipment, and throw your grenades while sprinting. So that's really good. I like gun hole a whole lot. Blast sensor. I mean, blast suppressor, no mini mass signature when thrust jumping, thrust sounds is suppressed. So, think of it as um, advanced warfare. You can um, use your sounds of your exo, exo, the exo movements so your enemies won't really hear you. Get your awareness, enemy footsteps, were, enemy footsteps are easier to hear. Get your engineer, show enemy equipment and score sheets, reroll and body and booby trap care packages. So, you can just count on that, so that's really good. So, sorry for going with this a little bit fast. I don't want to drag this video on along that much. That's all the attachments, the lethal grenades, all the stuff, and the creative classes. You got five creative classes. Probably need, to, probably get more when you prestige and stuff. I don't know how many prestiges there'll be in this game. Maybe ten or stuff like that. But yeah, you get all that, and it looks like the max level is going to be somewhere near. What is that? Not thirty-eight. 44 48 so it's like I guess close you only have to at least 50 levels you can do before you prestige maybe it's more maybe it's not all right so you're moving on to the score streaks you got the RC HCXD is like a hover it's like the RCXD but you hover UAV tap simple care package simple counter UAV it's higher up in the care package this time and uh, get the dart which is like a hunter killer drone, but you can also use it. You can also use it. I mean, use it manually. So it's kind of it's kind of good, kind of bad. The only thing I like about it is the turn radius. You can slow down, but the turn radius just sucks. You get the guardian, guys. Remember that from Black Ops Two. You guys don't remember that? Think of it as like a people have tag it sunscreen. Yeah, I mean, trying to get a tan. You get the sunscreen. Or sun reflector shine on your face and stuff like that. I think it's the same same thing hurts you. Hailstorm is really good. It's like you can lock on to your enemies and you can just fire down onto them. I think something that's Black Ops 2. Can't remember that name of the kill streak. Haven't played that for a lot. Lightning strikes like send down like a little little um air strikes to a certain area. Rolling thunder is a whole bunch of bombs that will just go within a certain area from Black Ops 2. Talon. Is a, a little drone to get control. It's really good. I really do like it. Or you, can, or you can let it control on its own and have it escort you. So just in case you be in danger, it'll help you out. It's somewhat invisible. The Cerberus. Um, I think that's the one with you can see like the directions of of your enemy to move and think of it, Black Ops 1, you got the Black Hawk, I think that's what it's called. You see where your enemies are going, so you light up big red. The Wraith, which I really do like that kill streak, it's like a big, big um, helicopter. Think of it as an attack helicopter, you can send it to a certain, like a, yeah, basically think of it as an attack helicopter, but it's like a big Wraith, like a big machine, big air gun. It's me sent in a specific area in the map, and you can just use that, and it's really hard to shoot down and kill the enemies. The hater, um, that yeah, was a hater. I kind of I forgot. I have a video of that on Facebook. What the hater is, I got it in the care package. So, can't, sorry if I can't say what it is. Forgot. Got the wraps, which is really good. It takes a little bit of while, but you see like a little spike balls just goes constantly goes after the enemies. You will not, like I said, you will not get a kill right away. It takes some time, but you will get it. Then you got the power cords, which is like an EMP. 
get the GI unit. So think of it as like a extra person. You can just send it to attack enemies. It will attack on its own. Maybe it will. Maybe not. Or, or you can just have it defend or have it defend you. And you can see right here it can be can be set to guard mode to protect the owner or set to patrol mode to defend a designated location. So there we go. So you just have it. You want to point to a different direction. You have it stand right there, and it's like a giant robot that will shoot. And the mothership, I never got that, so I can't say anything. And that is it for the kill streaks. Whew! Try to get all that into a very short time. So sorry, if I can't always. Guys, got any questions? If you want me to explain it? I will explain it. Sorry, it was not the best. So yeah, that is it, guys, for this video. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. You guys, got any more questions? Or you want to see some of these kill streaks in action? I will be uploading the videos on Facebook. Just gotta find them, gotta search through them every single video, and make sure I have all the kill streaks being shown. So I thank you guys for watching again, and until next time, stay safe and happy gaming.